Hello, this is Raquel Porter with some new clip art. This set is uh, all based on organics. I have a garland, a wall, and a swag here. And they're at three different levels. One is what I call organic light. This one is organic full. And this one we could call organic over the top. It includes not only uh, more three foot balloons, but I also have some orbs or they could be uh, bubble or aqua balloons and I also have some glitter balloons tucked in there too. Let's see if I can zoom in on that a little bit for you to see that. Let's, uh, let's see. There we go. Yeah, I created some glitter balloons in there. There's a few things I want to show you with this clip art. The first one is how to change the colors quickly. Right now under page design I have uh, the default color scheme called office. So if I drop the, the menu down here, there's a whole bunch of other built-in color schemes that Microsoft provides. So let's pick one that's in pink. So like here's one called Opulent. So if I click on that, everything changes at once. It's pretty slick. Um, we can go over here. If I click on the picture, I can drop down the Shape Fill tool. And you can see the color scheme there, plus the different tints and shades that are also available. As long as you only use the scheme colors, this slick trick, this shortcut will work. If you start using standard colors or if you go to more fill colors and then you try to change the colors in bulk up here, it will not work. So I want to give you that caveat. Let's try that again. Let's take a look at Grove here, which is shades of green. So very quickly, it changes all of the colors. So what if you had specific colors that you wanted to change them to that are not in a preset color scheme? Well, you can create your own color scheme here too. So let me go back to here. I clicked on the arrow and I go to create new color scheme. And let's go ahead and call this one test just for test purposes. Um, and we can go in here and we can start changing colors. So accent five. I always leave white and the main color I always leave black. Black is the outline color and white ends up um, almost all of my clip art has white in there somewhere. I just always leave accent five as white. So let's go in here and make some changes. Let's let's do uh, let's do a lime green and an orange and a hot pink let's say. And we can save that and just like that all the colors are changed. So we can go up here to test. If I right click on test I can edit the scheme again and let's say we want to do uh, let's do some yellow and maybe a softer pink and a softer green like some more muted tones like the new um, metallic colors that came out. And that's how quickly it is to change them. Uh, let's see, what else can I show you? Oh, let's go and zoom in a little bit here on the orbs. So let's say you want to change the color of that orb. So I clicked on it and I'm going to right click. Okay, I'm going to, oh, my computer's slowing down on me. Just give this a minute. The uh, publisher is not used to working with quite so many elements. So every once in a while this happens and I find I just have to let it sit there and uh, let it catch up. It could also be a function of me not having enough memory in my computer. Okay, so I right clicked and this menu comes up. So I'm going to change the picture and I'm going to go to a search and I'm going to search for orbs. And I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to unselect Creative Commons only. And now I have a whole bunch of orbs that I can select from. So let's select this uh, rainbow one. Let's see what happens. There it is. There's the rainbow. And it will kick out the one that you replaced outside of your frame and it will put in the new one. So apparently that one picture I selected has a background on it. So I can simply click on it and my computer's delaying again. I right clicked. Oh my goodness, my computer is so slow today. 
You'll have to forgive me. I'm recording this and letting you see everything that I see when I'm working on these. So if you were, okay, let's talk about this then. I'm going to go ahead and ungroup all of these. And one way to avoid that would be to go ahead and delete these other images, these other uh, sets of clip art, and that will speed it up considerably. Okay, so now I can go ahead and I'm going to select that again, and I'm going to have to ungroup it. And I'm going to select it again, and I'm going to go here to Picture Tools, and I where is that? See, I have everything in my my uh, quick access toolbar. So I was going to try to find it for you in the toolbar, and frankly, I don't know where it is in the toolbar. I do have a video that teaches you how to set up your quick access toolbar. So I will reference that in the uh, description when I upload this to YouTube. So this is the tool to set transparent color. I can go in here and I can just click the background and the transparent color is gone. Uh, let's see. So let's take a look at the glitter. So with that, I actually created that by using the fill tool. I did a picture fill. And I actually did it from a file, but let's say you wanted to go in here and find, I don't know, green glitter. And there's some green glitter, so we can select one of those images. Oh, let's select this one. This one's a little bit nicer. And now I have a green glitter balloon. The other way you can change the color too, while you have that selected, is to come up here to recolor. Uh, sometimes you're able to quickly change the color. The saturation uh, may not be quite as intense as what you're looking for. I have not found a really clean way of um, adjusting things, and I've played around a little bit with the brightness and contrast, but I haven't been satisfied enough yet to recommend doing it that way. Um, there is the corrections where you can intensify it a little bit more too. So as you can play around with it, that's how I discover things, is just playing around with the different options. So those are a couple of different uh, ways to update your organic designs to customize them. Um, this is going to be available on Etsy, like all the other clip art. I would appreciate your feedback, and if you have any questions, uh, please do ask me in the uh, Facebook group, Balloon Art Clip Art. Uh, this is Raquel Porter. Thank you.